What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video, day 2 of the incredible 30 day challenge where we try to upload every single day of this month, which is going to be November. Uh, it's November 2nd right now, second day, it's a Wednesday, and um, I hope you enjoyed yesterday's video. Um, I sure did enjoy making it, but today I want to talk about the, one of the most requested videos on my channel in general actually, um, is going to be about apps. Um, I got a lot of messages, I got a lot of emails, I got a lot of tweets about how to get a six-pack abs or how do you get abs or how can I get abs or, or whatever. So I'm also going to go over four of my favorite exercises for abs. Firstly, I want to talk about um, a lot of the guys, um, especially the guys who are sending me those questions are usually a little bit younger, like 14 to 17 years old. And I do understand that. I do understand why you want a six-pack abs. Myself included at that age, really wanted the six-pack abs. For some reason, it is cool to have the six-pack abs. So I do understand it. To get a six-pack, it's not really hard uh, because everyone has one uh, but just some guys have it covered with a little bit more body fat than others and some guys are just genetically gifted with some symmetrical abs or or like a good midsection so a couple things go into the abs uh, it's not just training uh, because a lot of guys how can I train to get abs while uh, the diet is the most important thing if you really want abs so if you're really going for abs and you don't have them because you are um, a little bit more higher body fat, uh, then you have to diet down to actually see the abs because you have to understand that everyone has abs, like it's a muscle in your, like everyone has arms, like almost everyone, I'm sorry, but it, every everyone has a bicep muscle when they get born, everyone has a tricep muscle when they get born, and everyone has abdominal muscles when they are born. So um, everyone has abs, but you just have to have them so they are visible um, and that's where you guys want to uh, it's not really about training that much as it is about the diet and how to get them visible when I was younger like 14 15 I was really skinny as I said so I I had abs as I don't really count them as abs because they're just um, they weren't really developed so you can actually develop them more uh, but just when you are skinny you probably have abs i did try a lot of different ways to train abs i did non-weighted stuff i did weighted stuff i did every single day i did very like two or three times a week or i didn't train them at all for a while and honestly in my experience so far it doesn't really really matter that much um, because if you are lifting with a different exercises as well like squats overhead presses or deadlifts you already are implementing some abdominal muscles because basically that's the core stability that the whole abdominal section the whole core you are using when doing when running when doing deadlifts when doing squats as well so let's just talk about four of my favorite abdominal exercises to isolate them in the gym so the first one are going to be russian twists now um as you can see me doing here i have my feet against something to really keep my balance because i for some reason i can get my balance with this exercise but i do feel like um it doesn't really make a difference when doing this exercise um just because this exercise more focused on the obliques and more of the twisting areas uh, of the abdominals so more of the sides than doing more of the mix midsection of the abs uh, which in this case when doing russian twist doesn't really make a difference if you have your feet against the wall or in the air have a little bit of a difference of course in the like the full the full app section how it's being worked because you're you're obviously balancing and that also helps um, with developing the ab muscles but if you really want to isolate the obliques for example or the serratus uh, it doesn't really make a difference if you do it against a wall or something like that the second exercise i really like doing is a weighted exercise so that means you actually add weight to the movement uh, which is going to be the cable crunch exercise and this exercise is really nice uh, but you have to do it in a correct way because it can be a little bit of a difficult exercise when you've never done it before um, so what you want to do is get a rope when you did that choose a weight that, that suits you don't go too light because because if it's too light you don't um, you don't get the resistance upwards and it makes it very difficult to do the exercise so what you want to do is keep your arms in one locked position and then go with your elbows go to your knees in that way you really crunch the abdominals and you're really, really gonna feel in the midsection of the abdominals the lower and the upper abs 
um, if you do it correctly. What also is really important when training abs is make sure you breathe correctly. When you crunch, you really want to breathe out and make sure you don't have any air left in you. That way you're going to feel the best way in your abs and you can really, really squeeze the abs together. So breathe out when you crunch, like breathe all your air out. And then when you are going upwards, you breathe air in. So you're making sure you're stretching your whole midsection and then do it the same thing again. The third exercise is a very, very easy exercise and something I love doing and do on a regular basis is the plank. The plank is obviously a very good exercise to do for core stability and just in general for ab strength. This is a very easy exercise. I don't want to really talk about it too much. Uh, I usually do this three or four sets and then a minute to two minutes. Um, if you do it often, you're obviously going to train yourself to can... Um, to be able to perform it for a much longer time. I think the world record is like 17 hours or something stupid like that, uh, which is crazy. But uh, one to two minutes is probably going to um, have you struggle a little bit. What you also can do if you want to, uh, if you really want to get crazy, is add some weight on your lower back so it's extra heavy for you to keep up. And the fourth and final exercise is something you see me do so many, so many times in videos is the hanging leg raises. I like this exercise a lot because I can really feel it and it's really, really hard. Um, this you can really feel in your lower abs depending on how you do it. So for example, if you do a straight leg raise, a straight leg leg raise, um, you're really going to feel in the lower part of the abdominals. If you do it a little bit with bended in the legs and you bring your knees to your nipples, you can also really feel it in the upper abs. It depends on how you do the movement. Uh, so yeah, those were four of my favorite exercises for abs to do. I really hope you enjoyed it. As, as always, guys, if your abs are not visible, you got them, but you just need to diet down to a body fat level that you can actually see your abs. So don't be alarmed if you don't have abs because everyone has abs, uh, but it's a very common mistake to think that you have to just train abs to get abs when in fact, it's actually just body fat. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Tomorrow I'm going to record a vlog, so I hope you are going to be enjoying that too. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Deuces. Leave a like, by the way, on this video. You should really like this video.